Cody with everybody. We're back at it again. So I just had to do some errands. So Amazon returns I had to do. And uh, I did want to show you guys I got some new rubber for the CSC. This thing looks super sick. So um, yeah, hopefully these will be good off-road. And I uh, just got to figure out how to get this up on the air. And uh, the rear tire is going to be easy. Uh, front tire, I don't know. <laughs> We'll figure it out. So if not, I'll have to maybe... Nah, I'm not going to give up that easy. Anyway, oh, we're going to go run some errands today. And then, yeah, we'll uh, just kind of cruise around. I got some new hand guards too and they fit just barely look at that like just clear just just the hair I had to put this on the lowest setting but I like it on the lowest setting anyway so it's it kind of works just 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 a hair just clear clears it like by just just a hair <laughs> oh freaking kickstand was down <laughs> Well, I hope you guys are having a great day. Staying warm out there. It's not as cold. It's, it's, I'm getting more used to it. I'm getting better. Like, it's just the first few days, it comes as a shock. I was a Floridian. Yeah, and it's funny because it's only, it got cold again, and then it got, I got hot again. And it got cold this weekend. It started Monday, and then it's already supposed to be in the, the back in the 70s by tomorrow, which is Thursday. <laughs> so. Yeah, we have our few days, we have like our one or two days of uh, winter and then it's like back to normal. Whew. Arms are feeling it now. <laughs> we got two stops today to the UPS store. I also got to stop at the bank for something, but uh... Yeah, figure I'd take y'all along. So I've been playing Call of Duty. I've, there's actually like a two or three video gaming videos that I did um, on the old Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. And the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Cold War, Black Ops Cold War. I was so hyped for it, dude. Black Ops, the Cold War era is like one of the coolest like war eras that I, I like history. I love it. Like, it's just so cool. And then I was like super stoked. I was so ready for it. And then you, you, the campaign is really good. I'll, I'll give it that. The campaign in Black Ops Cold War is so good. Uh, it's almost worth the game just for that. But then it's like over, and now now what? So that you want to go play, you know, multiplayer because it's Call of Duty. Like that's what you that's what Call of Duty's known for is their multiplayer. It's trash, dude. It's so bad. <laughs> Now I'm coming from a PC, so I don't know if the console's any better, but it just feels so clunky on the computer. Like, I just, like even the navigation in the menus, it just feels so clunky. So I ended up actually uninstalling the game because I beat the campaign. I was like, all right, that's, that's fun. Now I'm bored and it's just annoying. And it was okay when they had Nuketown 24/7, but they got rid of Nuketown and now it's just it's just all trash, all garbage. If they, if they brought back Newtown 24-7 and kept it permanent, I might consider um, reinstalling it and keeping it. <laughs> but without Newtown 24-7, that game has no chance of staying in my my hard drive. <laughs> but I downloaded Call of Duty non uh, Modern Warfare again, and it's such a good game, dude. Like I still enjoy playing it. I played a couple of multiplayer matches. Like I'm like, this is such a good game. I can't... I wish Cold War would feel like Modern Warfare, but with the Cold War, like, kind of vibe to it, you know? I don't know, maybe they'll fix it with some patches and stuff, but until then, I'm gonna keep playing Modern Warfare 19. zombies yet I, I kind of it's just zombies have gotten way too confusing I, I remember the I, I'm kind of like I hate to sound like old but I like the good old like just old-fashioned Call of Duty like I don't know what all these 
different things are and like tier five whatever i don't know it's just it's different yeah. <laughs> i'm sure i'd like it once i get used to it but wow these handguards are lifesavers dude they make this they literally block all the wind from your knuckles And they fit with the factory little bar ends too, so it's pretty cool. I think that's the only reason why these things fit. Because it kind of makes it stick out far enough for the lever. Oh yeah, if anybody has any tips on how to lift the front wheel so I can get the front wheel off, let me know. Because I can do the rear, I think, pretty easily. And changing the tire out, the hard part isn't getting the, the tire off and changing the tire out. It's getting the, the wheels off the bike. <laughs> so, let me know. Oh yeah, the undercarriage of this thing, it's got like, you know, a little skid plate, but it's actually got frame, like little frame attachments, and so it's, even though it looks like a little piece of like sheet steel, it's actually bolted to the frame. So I'm thinking I could probably jack it up from the from that. Oh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we might need some fuel. Eh, it's alright. Th this thing, I, I, feel like, I feel like I could go like months without refueling this thing. It's insane how big this tank is. Yeah. I ended up buying a phone case. I accidentally bought two of them and then I ended up buying the wrong phone. I have a Note 20. I bought one for an S20. <laughs> so, oh well. <laughs> it's the wonderful thing about Amazon. Easy returns and then exchange. Uh, we'll check back in in a minute. get more comfortable with it which is good it means we'll take it off road soon big heavy bike I want to make sure I'm really comfortable with it all on road before I take it off road and I'm, I'm getting a lot more comfortable with this thing so that is good it like changes the gears like so like chuk, 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 chuk. I kind of like it. it sounds like a bolt on like a gun or something I think about getting there's a taller seat you can get for this I mean I kind of like the low lower seat height um, just makes it easier to like almost flat foot it, kind of tippy toe it. <laughs> but um, I kind of like the seating position of like an, a, a dirt bike, you know? A slightly taller. So I don't know, we'll see. I kind of like the taller seating position where my knees are a little bit lower and. It's not, it's a good, like, it's not like a sport bike at all. It's definitely, like, lower than my, like, it's above my hips. On a sport bike, you're really, like, you kind of, like, your knees are above your hips almost. But on the Hawk, you're just so much more relaxed. It feels like you're sitting in a Lazy Boy. It's... Now, this is a lot more comfortable. It's funny, because this is a lot more comfortable on the road, and you can kind of, you feel like you have more control in the corners than the Hawk. So, I guess it's, uh, it's got a sportier feel to it, but... I just like that seating position that you have on like a dirt bike or a dual sport. I saw that part, I'm like, eh, it looks suspicious. I don't think that's just a normal person just parked there. <laughs> Y'all see what I just saw? Wow. That's insane. Dude, he just... That guy's gonna die one day. He's gonna kill himself. And then people are gonna feel sorry for him. Bro, yes, it's bad, but he did it himself, but he drives like a f moron. I probably wanna, uh, I think I need to adjust the, uh, the rear shock a little bit. I can, I think I want the rebound to go a little faster. 
I gotta get out in the water. It's just been so cold and like miserable lately, like all the storms and now it's cold. But I really want to get out in the water, take my kayak out. There's a really cool place out in Silver Springs, up and up, up a little bit north in the Ocala area. Uh, it's called Monkey Island, and there's little monkeys, so I want to go check that out. I think that'll be really cool if I can catch some monkeys on camera. They're kind of hitting this. Sometimes you, you can see some monkeys, sometimes you can't. What the heck? Look at that thing. That is so cool. What? I don't even know what's going on over there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, this is actually like a recording studio for like a, a lot of famous country singers. I'm not really a big country fan, but uh, it's kind of cool, I guess. Too busy. <laughs> oh, this thing rips though. And in the corners, dude. Oh my god. We'll see how the big block tires affect it. <laughs> I don't think it'll affect it too much. It looks they're still pretty rounded, but uh, they had just have like a really nice aggressive tread pattern. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe out there. And uh, as always, it'd be awesome if you subscribed. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh, well, you know what we haven't done on this thing? There's an exhaust clip. Man, I love thumpers, dude.